Hi there. Um, around the web you can see uh, plenty of different projects for BeagleBoard and today I thought I'll share you some information about mine as well. What you see here is a uh, ARM development board. It's basically a full PC with the ARM processor on it. And on the BeagleBoard I have a, I'm running a headless Ubuntu image for ARM. And on the Ubuntu, I have created uh, this uh, socket application, which I use to listen to the connections from the outside of my home network. Uh, to the application, I have connected this uh, USB infrared transceiver, uh, which I bought from dangerousprototypes.com. And this transceiver I have used uh, to do a bit of reverse engineering of my uh, Hitachi air conditioner and its remote basically to learn how they work together. Uh, on the screen here you see my uh, a terminal connection to the BeagleBoard. It has, uh, it's basically already running this uh, socket server and here you'll see the activity of the server as I connect with my client to it. The Android application, um, you can see that the Wi-Fi signal is missing here so I'm connected to the cell phone network and from point of this exercise, I'm connected to an outside network there. Um, as I connect to my server, you'll see some activity already on the screen. There we go. So you can see that there's a new client with the IP 172.0.23. And here, the status of the AC has been updated to me and uh, I can choose to control it. Um, for example, let's set it on. The heating because it's December, uh, let's say 25 degrees, and I'll send the command to my server. On the screen you saw a bit of uh, information about the infrared, and uh, the air conditioner is now turning on. So basically with this application I'll be able to control my uh, temperature of my house uh, to be then uh, heating or cooling so that when I arrive to my home it will always be the temperature I like. Uh, I really want to thank the guys at Dangerous Prototypes. They really helped me out me with debugging uh, the infrared module for the arm. There were some problems and um, yeah, thanks for watching.